Today, we doing a what's on my iPhone video. Sunny Daniel Enterprises. Wow, 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 wow. I got the iPhone 7 Plus. It ain't nothing special. I'm thinking about buying this Huawei phone. Post in the comments, man, if you ever had a Huawei phone, if you ever had an Android phone, like recent Android phone, a S9, Note, that kind of situation, because I'm really, I'm teeter-tottering on do I want to switch over to this Huawei phone, man, the 7.2 inches. All y'all Android folks, man, let me know how Android is on Snapchat, Instagram, stuff like that. In the meantime, I still got my iPhone 7 Plus. We're going to get on to what's on my iPhone. Now, my iPhone is jailbroken, so it's going to look completely completely different than most iPhones you've ever seen, which is why I love jailbreaking my iPhone because I love to customize my iPhone. So this is my home screen, man. As I told you, it looked completely different probably than any other iPhone you've ever seen, but I love it, man. This is my home and then this is my, all my folders and stuff like that are over here. So we're gonna just go through the apps that I have that I use on a daily basis, which is most of the apps that's right on this screen. We got YouTube. YouTube is definitely a must. We got Snapchat, which you already know, Snapchat is a must. That's what I'm worried about on these Android phones. Like, is it gonna be really like the iPhone or not? Instagram, my favorite app out of all apps. This is where I'm at all the time. So yeah, man, we got Instagram and you see my Instagram is dark. I got an Instagram dark mode with the jailbreak. So like everything on Instagram is darkened and it just, it's just is better on your eyes, man. It's just better to look at to me. Then we got Safari, of course. Had to make sure it was on a clean website before I opened it. <laughs> Man, you already know what time it is. And you notice up top, you know, that's dark, down low, that's dark. So got Safari, of course, just the Google stuff. Amazon, of course, another must. I'm always on Amazon buying stuff. This app is one of my smart apps. I have a lot of smart tech in my house. All my lights are smart. My outdoor lights are smart. Got cameras, got a whole bunch of smart tech in my crib, man. So this is a must. This is um Casa. And you can see I got all my scenes set, all my devices set up. So then over here we got Ring. This is all my outdoor cameras i got you know floodlight cameras and then i have google cameras that are outside with those then over here we got the thermostat app this is how i adjust my temperature in my house when you get up in the winter and it's cold in the house you could turn the heat up without even getting out to bed in the summer when it's hot in the middle of the night, you can turn the air conditioning on without even getting up out the bed. Like that is the most beautiful thing ever, man. Smart home tech, that's the wave, bruh. You know, mail app, email, stuff like that. So we got the photos app, no need to go in there. No need for y'all to, you know, get too crazy. Then we got text messages. And you can see here on my text message app that all my text message bubbles are like this purple color and then it's got the dark background. Like it's lit, bruh. I'm, the jailbreak, I'm telling you. If you don't jailbreak your phone, man, look into it and try to because it's so much you can get into with jailbreaking on an iPhone and it just makes the beauty of having an iPhone and it being simple mixed with the customization that you can have on an Android phone. I imagine. I don't know. I've never had one. Then we got music. My music app, Apple Music. My music app is dark too. So you see right here, like I got the little waves going, it's dark. It's just easier on your eyes. I love it, man. That's why I just, I love the jailbreak thing. I can't stress that enough. So those are my main apps. These are the apps that I'm using every day, all day. I'm clicking one of these apps probably every 10, 15 minutes to do something. Turn the heat up, look outside, look at some photos, check the emails. So this is my main page. And then I scroll over here. I got my games folder and these are the games I have. Monopoly, Final Fantasy 7, best game in the world. If you haven't played it, go download the app and play it. Bruh, the storyline and, the, and the, the music, the characters, I love that game. The Simpsons, which I played The Simpsons so heavy, bruh. I mean, to the max. I think I got up to like level 50 or 60 or something, and then I just stopped playing it. Same with Sim City. I got up really high, and then I just stopped playing it. I got The Sims. I got pretty far in The Sims, too. Color and Book app. This is a really cool app, man. If you like just chilling out, you want to do something to chill out, you know, like that one I just colored. These I colored in. They just real chill apps to just chill out. Super easy. It's like coloring, but without all the mess and all the prep work. So I definitely like that app. I think it's called Recolor. And then PewDiePie's new app, which subscribe to PewDiePie if you haven't. No, seriously, bro, y'all should. So we can understand the memes together. I don't be having nobody to talk about memes with. So y'all have to follow him so you can know what's happening. I haven't played this game yet though. So it's just in there. And then over here, we got my video apps, QVC for background noise during the holidays. I love to watch QVC, so that's just for live streaming. 
streaming and stuff. Direct TV app, which thinking about canceling them because I mean, who really needs Direct TV? Amazon Video, the Apple TV app, Netflix, of course, Hulu, of course. This app down here is like where I can put videos, like say I want to put Martin on my phone or find a Nemo, like I can just put any video on my phone and watch it. Vimeo, that's of course for Hodge Twins TV. It's only $2.99 a month, it's damn near free. That's the only reason I have Vimeo, is to watch them on uh, the uncut Hodge Twins. This app down here in the corner, this is an app to stream video from my laptop to my phone, as long as I'm on Wi-Fi. Then over here, we got my reference folder. I put my phone in there because I barely use the phone. Maps, notes, Wix for my website, the Weather Channel, PayPal of course, YouTube Studio for my YouTube stuff. City Bank for my credit card. Over here to food, this is my food folder. I'm in here often. Got Panera Bread, Chipotle, Chick-fil-A, Papa John's, Donato's, Five Guys. Subway I haven't used yet. Sides to go barbecue I haven't used yet. And then Applebee's I use because people always give me gift cards. Then down here we got stores. This is kind of a lame folder. This is Flip app, which kind of gives you like a uh, newspaper type advertisement vibe, which I really like. Me and my grandma, me and my mom and dad, we used to always get the Sunday paper, old school type stuff. I was a little kid and we'd sit in the bed and I'd go through all the advertisements and look at the toys and the toy store book, circle the toys I wanted and all of that. So this app kind of reminds me of that and I, and I like it. It kind of brings the, um, the old school vibe of having newspaper, but on your phone. It stopped screen recording, bro. So I'm gonna have to go back. I'm gonna have to cut, this video is gonna take me a long time to edit now but i'm gonna do it for y'all man just make sure you like the video and show me that you actually care about me doing all this work but i'm gonna have to go back and redo this whole video because the screen recorder stopped recording so in the storage folder we got the flip app ebay of course just for anything i want to buy eway ebay wise like the huawei phone the cases dh gate that's for all your louis vuitton phone cases and stuff like that just like chill ebay type vibe Cydia, which is the app for jailbreaking it's like a jailbreaking app store the actual app store itunes store tweak box which is where I download Electra which is right next to it and Electra is how you jailbreak your phone so nothing special there and then this last folder is the hide it folder of course apps that I can't delete because I still sometimes use them or I can't delete because they're Apple apps or they are convenient every once in a while like voice memos the DJI app that's for my um my camera Alexa's app the Nest app for my uh, fire alarms in the house bitmoji settings you know Gmail Twitter I hate Twitter I I never go on Twitter. But like every once in a while somebody will post something on Twitter, it'd be a nude or something on Twitter and I gotta go check it out. You know, I need my Twitter app. The Komoji app, uh, Escort, that's from my radar detector in my car. Just a couple games that I put a lot of time into like this ad, this capitalist app. I love that app, man. I put so much time into it, but it just got to the point where I just got tired of it. But I didn't want to delete it because I put so much time into it. And that's pretty much it, man. I really hate that the screen record didn't work because now it's like I have to start over and read through the video and kind of follow my myself but i'm gonna do that for y'all man so make sure you like the video make sure you show love man i want to know what you think about android versus apple i want to know how snapchat works on android is it the same does it look different i want to know instagram does it look the same when you upload pictures because i can't risk the quality over the screen size i don't know i'm gonna definitely still have my iphone though so i'll have my iphone and the huawei phone but i might just end up waiting until the summer or the fall and buying a brand new iphone biggest iphone probably 16 hundred dollar iPhone so we'll see though but thanks for watching everybody hey let me see you dance I love to watch you dance